Let me show you how I use my dermosid beetle colony to clean this female Jackson's chameleon skeleton. Viewer discretion advised. This chameleon unfortunately passed away from reproductive disease. An interesting thing about Jackson's chameleons is that they do not lay eggs. Instead, the egg sacs develop inside them for five to six months until they give birth to their young. After performing her necropsy, I fed her to my beetles, which cleaned her in about two days during this time lapse. You can see that the tongue was actually anchored by a bone called the hyoid bone. This bone has many attachments to the muscles of the tongue and helps to accelerate it like a catapult during striking. Chameleons also have sclerotic rings or circular bones inside their eyes, similar to birds and other reptiles. Something unique to chameleons is that they can move their eyes independently, focusing on an object in front of them or into completely opposite directions if they want to. They have five toes on each foot that are grouped together in two separate bunches, with the toes on the hind feet reversed. These feet allow chameleons to grip on rough or narrow branches with ease, aided by the sharp claw on each toe. Chameleons also have prehensile tails, which means that their tails are highly adapted to gripping onto branches. For those interested in starting their own dermosid beetle colony, I highly recommend Talia's Beetlebugs. I've also included a video on tank setup, which you can search for on my YouTube channel.